Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial on how to import quiz questions from Excel into Canvas quizzes. Now the first step that you need to do is to create a CSV file containing your test questions. Now in order for you to do that, you have to open your Microsoft Excel and then you follow this particular format. Now I've already created sample test questions with answers and I'm going to paste them here. Please take note of this particular format. The rows would correspond to the different questions. So the first row would be the first question, the second row would be the second question, and so forth and so on. I haven't really tested how many questions you can put in, but feel free to experiment. Please take note that you do not have a header row. The first row would be your starting question. As far as the columns are concerned, the first column, column A, would indicate the type of question involved. MC stands for multiple choice, TF stands for true or false, and MR stands for multiple response or select all that apply type of questions. The second column, column B, should be empty. I think it has something to do with the indexing of the questions, but just leave it blank. But you need to have a blank column. Column C would be the point allotment for each of those questions. The point allotments can be from 1 to 100 and you can have decimal points up to the second decimal place. So you can see I have 1.5 and 3.5 here. And of course, each question can have varying points per item. For column D, this will spell out the question stems. This should contain the actual question that you will include in your test. For example, question one can read, what is the name of this channel? The fifth column, column E, would correspond to the correct answer relative to the choices given. For question one, choice two, should be the correct answer. So I'm going to put the name of the channel here as the correct answer. Of course, you can change your first choice, your third choice, your fourth choice, and so forth and so on. Similarly, for question number two, the correct answer for this multiple choice question would be the fourth choice, which is this one. For question number three, which is a true or false question, please take note that you do not have any choices here. For true or false questions, you put the correct answer as 1 if your correct answer is true, or you put a 0 if your correct answer for a true or, true or false question is false. So we'll leave this as false. Going back to question number 2, please take note that you can have up to 5 choices or even less. My sources say that you can also create more than five choices. So you just put an additional choice here if you want to confuse your students more. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll leave it a maximum of five choices. But for question number two, I will give the students four questions with choice four being the correct answer. For the fourth question, this is a multiple response type of question wherein choices 2 and 4 will be the correct answers. The students would need to get those two answers correctly in order to get the full two points. Similarly, for question 5, choice 1 and choice 3 will be the correct answers for a total of two points. However, take note that I only have three choices for question number 5, which is also allowed. For the sixth sample question, I have three correct answers, choice one, choice two, and choice three amongst five different choices. And I'm going to give them a decimal point 
3.5 points if they get those three answers correctly. Now you need to save this file as a CSV file as I mentioned earlier. And in order for you to do that, you click on file, click save as, and then click this drag drop button and select the CSV comma delineated dot CSV format. And then type your file name I'm going to name this sample quiz and then click save I'm just going to save this in the desktop and then you can close your Excel after creating your CSV file containing your test questions you need to convert your file into a QTI format and in order for you to do that you need to go to a CSV to QTI converter. Luckily, K-State University provides us with that particular functionality online. So please go to canconvert.k-state.edu slash QTI and that link is placed in the description below. To convert your CSV to QTI, you click the browse button and then you search for your file. Click Perform Conversion and click Save File to save your file into your computer. Please make sure you know where your downloads go. You will be importing the entire zip file into your Sandbox account, so do not modify the contents inside. The third step is to import the QTI file, which you converted from your CSV earlier, into your Canvas account. So please log in to your Canvas account as a teacher and we can start importing the QTI file that we created. Go to the course where you want to import the questions to. In this case, I'm going to use my sandbox. Click Home. Click Import Existing Content. Under the Content Type drop-down, select QTI zip file. And then browse the QTI zip file that we created earlier. Now you need to assign a specific question bank where you want to import your questions to. In my case, I'm going to create a new question bank and I'll name it Sample Bulk Upload and then click Import. Now you have to wait for a few minutes or a few seconds depending on the speed of your connection waiting running waiting running and then it's completed once it's completed then you can view your quiz questions go to quizzes and you can see the sample quiz that we created earlier already created within your module you can click that quiz and then click preview 